With templates in Camtasia 2020, what we can do is provide a consistent look and feel for our videos. Let's say we have a corporate account and we are trying to use the company colors and the company intro bumper video. We can do that with a template. We might also be using it if we're creating a lot of videos that want to have the same look and feel, like if you're creating a course or if you are doing a YouTube channel and you want everything to kind of have that same feel so that when people come back, they have the same experience. That's what we can use templates for. I occasionally do some contract video work. And in that case, what I want to do is make sure that these videos have that consistent look and feel. When I do that, let me show you what this video would look like without this. So I'm just going to drag the raw video out here and I'll show you that you can see the outside parts of my video. You can see I'm a little bit smaller here. The scale is at 75%. And so what I really want is something that looks like this, where I'm zoomed in, I'm framed properly, and I'm off to the side. So what I can do is when I record my videos normally, I can just drag them into these placeholders and have this template ready to create multiple videos with that same look and feel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to convert this to a placeholder. So now this video and all its settings are held in this placeholder and all these other videos I don't really need. I can just delete all those. And in fact, for the audio that I'm going to use, I can delete this audio because I'm not going to reuse any of that audio. All I really need is to have this nice long placeholder for that video, whatever video I'm going to pull in. So let's see what happens. When I drag this video in, not to the placeholder, but below the placeholder, I'll hide the placeholder and you can see, again, I'm off center. Uh, I need to crop out the sides. I need to zoom in. Okay, so we don't want that. I'll undo that. And instead, what I'll do is I'll drag that same video down to the placeholder. When I go there and I let go, it now is going to choose, let me choose if I want to do the ripple replace and I'll say, sure, go ahead and do a ripple replace. So it goes the duration of the video, however long that is. And now I'm perfectly centered in this portion of the video. I'm zoomed in to the area I need to be. So this is a great use of me needing a template. So I'm going to undo that so that I have my placeholder here. Uh, a similar thing with this outline. I don't really need, the outline would change throughout these videos. So I'm going to right click this and convert that to a placeholder as well. Lastly, I have these sketch motions that appear here on the left and I don't need any of those animations that are there. So I'll right click and I'll remove all the animations. This is all I need to create my template, right? I just have a couple of placeholders and I'm ready for this to be a template. How are we gonna do that? Well, I can go to file save project as template. So let's try that. Save project as template. What do I want to name this? I'll call this contract and I'll click OK. All right. And it tells me that I have this template saved. Great. I can choose not to see this again. I'm going to leave that on though. But it says for me to use this, I can go to select file new project from template to create a new project from this template. All right. Let's give that a try. I'll say OK. I'll just do a file new project to show that everything's going to be gone. I'll say no to saving changes here. So everything is gone, all the media. And I'm going to try what it said. I'm going to do file new project from template. Now, when I do that, there are a few templates that come installed with Camtasia 2020, some that I've created and some that I've imported from others. But for now, I see the last one that I created, this contract one is here. So let me just click it and I can say new from template or if I double click, that also launches it. It comes in and here it is. Now all I need to do is drag my media in. So I can grab that video I had before, drag it in here, drag that video down to the placeholder. Oh, didn't wait long enough. Let me undo that. Try that once more. Drag that video down to the placeholder. Let go. Ripple replace. Take a look. And that looks good. The other thing I can do is grab the outline, that image. I'll drag that in. I'll grab that, pull that into my placeholder. It's right up here. I should have, oh, let me try that. Let me just scroll up a little bit so I can see it. And I'll drag that outline into my placeholder, wait for it, and there it is. Now, I need to make a few adjustments to this. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to crop this out. So I'll use the Alt key to crop out this top part and then the Alt key to crop this out. So it's not 100% perfect, but it has saved me a lot of time and now I have this same look and feel 
for the next time I create a new video for this contract.